The Plan Compare tool on Medicare.gov is a great way to view plan options and confirm drug pricing. Coming up next, we'll show you how to navigate this site like a pro. Andy Stamus here with Medicare Mindset. We feel it's important you get comfortable with checking the price of your medications on Medicare.gov. You can easily do this any time of year, especially during the annual election period, which runs October 15th to December 7th. Let's take a look. All right, here is the Medicare.gov website. We're going to scroll down to the Find Health and Drug Plan section. This is where you can use the Plan Compare tool to look at prescription drug pricing, Part D, Medicare Advantage, all sorts of stuff. This website is always changing, so the location of things can be different at different times, but in general, you'll find this right here smack dab on the front page. We'll click on Find Plans now. Then you can get in here in one of two ways. You can log into your existing Medicare.gov account, which will have your existing prescription drug claims in there. So it'll have that list of drugs and you can edit it if you want to. We're gonna go the other route and put in a zip code and choose a plan type. We'll start out with Part D, prescription drug, standalone plans, and we'll talk about Medicare Advantage at the end. So let's start. This is a question they ask to determine if you're eligible for any extra benefits, which would reduce your prescription drug copays. So if you have Medicare and Medicaid, Medicare savings program, or extra help, you can have reduced prescription costs, which will be um, updated in the system if you select it. But for now, we're gonna do, I don't get any of this help. And you have the option of checking plans alone, or you can check drug pricing while you're looking at the plans. We're gonna click yes to put in some drugs. So I'm gonna choose three drugs. Torvastatin is the first one. So as you start typing, you'll get results. We'll add it. I'm gonna change the dosage. You can change the quantity and how often you fill it. Add it. We'll add another. Eliquis, an expensive blood thinner. Five milligrams twice a day, sounds good. And then we're gonna do Restasis. Now on Restasis, as I add this, it's gonna say, hey, there's a generic available. If you wanna add the generic, if you're truly taking it, fine. For today, we're just gonna do add brand instead. And then it shows the dosage and package quantity. This one is a different type of drug to add, and that's why I wanted to include it. It's showing a quantity of one, and there are 60 doses in this, in this package, but we're choosing a quantity of one. So just want to make sure you don't put 60 here, because if you did put 60, it would be 60 times 60 doses. The numbers would be crazy. So this is a package of one, and that one package has the 60 doses. All right, so here's our list of three medications. We're going to say done adding drugs. Here you can choose up to five pharmacies, including mail order. We're going to choose discount drug mart, and then we'll choose, let's do Yoast. Done. And now it's going to show us all the prescription drug plans available in your state. Yes, we have uh, the zip code in, in Warren County here. For Part D plans, it really doesn't matter as long as you're choosing a zip code in a state, it's gonna be all the same plans. Medicare Advantage, however, is county specific. So we have a couple of different ways to filter here. So we have insurance carrier. So if we wanted to stick with one insurance carrier, we could check that. We can also do star ratings. You'll notice that there are 23 plans showing up. Um, total and it'll show 10 at a time and we can use the filter to uh, narrow down. So we'll do star ratings as a way to get some uh, you know, fewer results. A good drug plan should be three stars and above in my opinion. That will reduce the drug plans down to 21 total. So it sorts it initially based on lowest drug cost plus premium cost right here. And you can change it to lowest um, yearly deductible and monthly premium, but really I think the right way to look at it is drug cost plus premiums total. 
So we're just going to click on the first plan here. I'm not saying go with this plan, but I'm just showing you this as an example. So it has a $53 premium per month, which is high for a Part D plan. Yearly drug and premium cost of $7.65, which is your drug cost for the time frame and premiums for the time frame. Now, quick disclaimer, very important one. This system always assumes that you're starting the plan next month. I am doing this video in the month of August. So the system is going to say, all right, September through December. It's only going to show a four month breakdown. Now, if you were doing this in October, November, or December, they would give you the choice of drug costs for the rest of the year, or they'd say, would you like to shop this for the next calendar year, which would be a 12 month breakdown. So keep that in mind. It depends on when you're doing this. So today's video is all going to be a four month scenario of September through December. So all the numbers are reflecting that. This plan is $100 deductible in the plan and it applies to certain tiers. And you'll see what I mean uh, in a little bit. All right, let's look, click on plan details and we'll see kind of an overview of the plan. $53 a month premium, $100 deductible. It doesn't really tell you any details on what tiers that uh, is part of, um, but you'll see a little bit later that that's going to be for the really higher tiers. I'm actually going to jump all the way down to something on the bottom and come back up in a little bit. So let's go down here and I'm going to click on view more drug coverage. And the reason why is I want to show you which tiers your this drug list is um, is relevant here. So atorvastatin is a tier one generic drug, preferred generic. Eliquis and Restasis are a tier three, which would be a preferred brand. And that's important because that's going to determine what the cost is for the medication in the plan. All right, so let's go back up. I wish they would show this first, so I just wanted to point that out. Oh, and speaking of that, so here is the general pricing in the plan. So preferred generic is tier one, $4. Preferred brand is your tier three at 42. But that's misleading. It's not like that all year because you'll see that the expensive drugs on this list are going to make somebody reach the donut hole. All right, back up to the top, we have the pharmacies. So the pharmacies, we have uh, Yoast and Discount Drug Mart. Both of them are listed as preferred. So that means you're going to get lower drug costs at those locations. Some pharmacies are standard, so you'll have some higher prescription costs. All right. Now, when you tally it up for the year, or really in this case, the four months, September through December, Torvastatin is a total of $16. Looks like that'll be $4.00. Uh, per month. Eliquis 231, Restasis 306. So that's your yearly, and that's not really yearly, but that's September through December, $554 of drug copays. This section is important because it tells you when you're going to be meeting the deductible, when you're going to reach the coverage gap. So in this case, you reach the coverage gap, donut hole, in December. Well, December is month four in our scenario because we're starting in September in this uh, example. But if you were doing this for a January start date, December would clearly be month 12. All right, so let's go down a little further. So that's going to be when pricing is going to change in this plan. So you'll see that right here. In September, you have total drug copays for the three medications of 88. October is the same. November is the same. But then just above, it said that in December, the pricing changes. Total of 290 for your medications, and that's because Eliquis and Restasis are going to see a price increase. So let's take a look at that. You click on this here. We're just going to use Yoast as our example. And this is where you can see the price of the medications in each phase of Part D. So first of all, you have each drug, and then you have a full retail cost. This is not the actual cost. This is not what you're going to pay. It's just a reference point, and you'll see that in a moment. So Atorvastatin, about $9. Eliquis, $620. Restasis, $721. These are monthly amounts. So those are some big numbers. This phase here, cost before deductible, what that is is basically the deductible price of the drug. 
Cost after deductible is what you pay in the initial coverage phase. So that's when the insurance carrier is, is starting to help. Gap is the donut hole. So that is where you pay 25% of the cost. And then after gap is the catastrophic, and that's where you pay basically 5% of the full cost. All right, so you can see here that a torvastatin, uh, and we're actually gonna be able to ignore this column in, in this plan because these tiers don't apply to that uh, deductible. And the reason why I know that is you see how Eliquis is 620 and Restace is 720. You would see a bigger number in the cost before deductible uh, price. You wouldn't see 42. So that tells me that tier three drugs do not have a deductible. You just pay a smaller copay from the get go. If that was a tier four and up in this plane, it looks like, um, it would have a much bigger number in that first month. So we're going to ignore this column. So cost after deductible, Torvastatin is $4. Eliquis, $42. Restasis, $42. So very solid coverage there. You're paying a very small percentage of the cost of a very expensive drug there. But then you're going to reach the donut hole and the price is going to change. 155 and 180 for Eliquis and Restasis. Those numbers are 25%, whoops, 25% of that number and 25% of that number. That's where that number comes from. If someone were to happen to reach the catastrophic phase here, you can see that this number is 5% of the full cost, 5% of the full cost. But in this scenario, we don't reach that. I would say probably in a full 12 month breakdown, these two medications probably would reach the catastrophic. But in this four month period, they just reach the donut hole. So you can see here, you have that total monthly of 88 that we saw for September, October, November each month. And then for December, it goes up reaching the donut hole. And everything starts back over in January with Part D. All right, we're gonna move down a little bit and we're going to look at the star rating. So this plan, it, it has the breakdown of the star rating. So it's a three and a half star plan and it has the breakdown based on each uh, category type on how they determine that. So that's a, a standalone Part D option. We're going to go back to the results and switch the plan type to Medicare Advantage. And you can choose HMO, PPO, and there's other kinds too. Um, most commonly people are choosing an HMO or a PPO. So let's do that, hit apply, and let's see what kind of results we get. All right, so we have 60 plans to choose from. It's, it's overwhelming in, in, in the Medicare Advantage space. So what you should do is narrow down, try and get a good idea of what you're looking for. So what kind of plan benefits would you like beyond the standalone or standard benefits from Medicare? So let's say you want some dental coverage, uh, vision, as well and a fitness program apply now we're going to get 56 plans all right of course if you narrow down by carrier you'd get quite a few um, uh, less results drug coverage we want to include drug coverage in our analysis because we do have medications in our list that will get down to 49 plans star ratings Whenever you can, try and go with a four-star and higher plan with a Medicare Advantage plan. Not every county has lots of options, so sometimes you have to go with a three-star and up. But let's choose four stars. And then we'll see 37 results. You can also narrow down based on special needs. So if you have a chronic or disabling condition, or you're on Medicare and Medicaid, or in a long-term care facility, there are different plans you can get in those instances. But we'll leave that alone for now. So again, the system will narrow down based on lowest drug cost plus premium cost. So it says that this, this Paramount plan uh, is first and Medigold and on and on. There's, there's lots of results. So this is where you can't just look at prescriptions. You got to also take into account your doctors and carrier preference, um, you know, HMO versus PPO. So I could change this to only PPOs and, and get, get fewer results. And you're going to get some different options here if you do a PPO only versus HMO and PPO. So you have to think about your style, whether you want to have access to in-network, out-of-network, uh, whether your doctors are in-network, whether you have the extra benefits that you're looking for. And of course, how are your prescriptions covered? That's important as well. 
So I'm not going to go into this Medicare Advantage uh, plan details because it's really it works identical to what I just talked about on the, the Part D standalone side of things. But this is just showing you that you can use Medicare.gov as a nice uh, preliminary tool to look at your plans for the current year or, of course, for the next year. And that's where in October each year, go to this site, put your medications in, take a look at your existing plan, see how things look. And then if uh, if you're not sure or it's starting to look bad, uh, medication isn't covered well like it is currently, then maybe you want to start looking at plans outside of what you have currently. And then you can change it between October 15th and December 7th each year, which is the annual election period. So take advantage of this uh, this uh, video and give you the confidence to use the Medicare.gov plan compare tool. So go ahead and play around in the site to get better acquainted with the information and the plan options. Contact us if you need any help.